look at the time, 9.30. Oh, that's really late for me. I must have overslept. If you hadn't gone to bed so late, you wouldn't have overslept. That's true. I wouldn't have overslept if I hadn't gone to bed so late. But who said that? It sounded like Frankie's voice, but where is she? Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. There she goes again, but where is she hiding? <laughs> I'm not hiding. I'm down here on the floor. Oh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> what was that about early to bed and early to rise? It's an old saying. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. So. If I'd gone to bed early and I'd risen early, then I would have been a healthy, wealthy, and wise robot. Yes, you would have been, if you had. But you didn't, so you won't. <clears throat> Come again. You would have been healthy, wealthy, and wise if you had gone to bed early. But you didn't go to bed early, so you won't be healthy, wealthy, and wise. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Chips. Just teasing. <laughs> You're always teasing me. <laughs> what are you doing on the floor? Oh, I'm making a chart for my employees. You know, the people who work down the hall. Oh, well, sure. Uh, a why not? An eus? And no. <laughs> I am so silly. I'm reading it upside down. Why don't we put it up here? Okay. Thank you, Chips. You're welcome, Frankie. Oh, that's better. Tony, Sue, Hong, Jim, Alfredo. Oh, sure, I've seen them working down the hall. Uh, what do they do down there? They're my assistants. They assist me. They help me to make robots. I can't make robots like you without help, you know. Yes, it would take a lot of work to make a robot as healthy, wealthy, and wise as me. Yes, Chips, a lot of work. Well, uh, what is all this time in, time out, overtime? Uh... Well, this is my time chart. When my employees come to work in the morning, they have to clock in. Clock in? Yes. That means when they arrive, they look at the clock and they write down what time they started work. If Tony, say, arrives at exactly 8 a.m., he would clock in by writing that under time in. 8 a.m. Oh, I, I get it. And, uh, and at the end of the day, he would clock out by writing, say, 4 p.m. under time out. Whoa. That's right. right. Uh, uh, what's <laughs> overtime? Well, I have to pay my employees a certain amount per hour to work from 8 till 4. But if they work after 4, if they work over that time, I have to pay them overtime. You, you have to pay them more? Yes, I have to pay them time and a half. Well, how does that work? Well, Tony's basic rate is $10 an hour. Oh. His basic rate is how much he earns for each hour. Yes, for the hours he works between 8 and 4. I pay him a basic rate of $10 an hour. But if he works an extra hour, suppose he works until 5 o'clock, then I have to pay him time and a half. You mean what you would have paid him if he had worked an hour and a half at his basic rate? Right. So, he gets $15 for an hour's work after four. Yes, his overtime rate is $15 an hour. Whew, that's a lot. Uh, why do you have to pay your employees so much when they work overtime? Because that's part of the contract, the agreement that I have with my employees. Hmm. Well, what does it say in the contract? Well, among other things, it talks about employees' benefits. Oh, well, what are benefits? A benefit is something that helps you. Is sick pay a benefit? Yes. When an employee gets sick and can't come to work, I pay him sick pay while he's off sick. That's very good. And health insurance, is that a benefit? Yes, I pay part of my employee's health insurance. Hmm. And what's a pension? It's for when an employee retires, stops working. 
When an employee reaches 60 or 65, he or she can stop working, can retire, and get a pension, a regular amount of money each month. And you help pay the cost of that too? That's right. Clocking in, clocking out, overtime, benefits, these are all part of the working conditions in the workplace. Hmm. Dorothy is one of the 85 people who work here. Every time she arrives for work, she punches in her time card. She does this for two reasons. One, to show she is present for work, and two, to show how many hours she has worked. It's important because she's paid by the hour, and the company needs to know how many hours she has worked. Each shift is eight hours long. And when do they start? The day shift starts at 7 a.m. until 3 p.m., and then 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., and the midnight shift is from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Notice that everybody is wearing the blue smocks. Why is that? We wear these for two reasons. Um, one is to keep our clothes clean, and also for safety reasons. These prevent our regular clothes from being caught in the machinery. And uh, how often do you get paid? Every two weeks, I pick up my check every second Thursday. I can do that. I'm Chips. You look as if you're having a lot of fun playing with all those toys. I'm not playing with them. I'm working with them. That's funny. I always thought toys were for playing with. Don't try to get smart with me. Well, what do you mean? To get smart. To make clever remarks. Well, I'm not making clever remarks. I just thought the toys were for playing with. They are if you're a kid, but I'm not a kid. If I were a kid, I wouldn't be here. But why are you here? To make toys. We manufacture toys here. To manufacture is to make? Of course. This is a toy factory. Oh, a toy factory. Wow. Yeah, a place where we manufacture toys. Uh, a workplace? Yeah, a workplace. What are the working conditions like here? Do you get benefits? Yes. We get lots of benefits. Uh, sick pay and health insurance and a pension? Yes, all of those things. And overtime? Uh, can you do overtime and get time and a half? Yes, we can do overtime and get time and a half. And it looks as if I'll have to do some overtime today. Well, why is that? Because you keep talking to me and interrupting my work. Oh, I'm sorry. But don't you want to earn time and a half? Not today. I don't feel like work today. I'm fed up with work today. Well, why are you fed up with work today? Well, look at it. Oh, it looks really interesting. Interesting? Packing kids' blocks into boxes? It looks like fun. <laughs> Not after 30 years, it isn't. <sighs> why are you yawning? Are you tired? 
you should have gone to bed early. If you had gone to bed early, then you wouldn't be yawning now. I'm not yawning because I'm tired. I'm yawning because I'm bored. Bored? Yes, it's boring. Putting these blocks into these boxes, day after day, month after month, year after year, it's boring. It's dull. It's deadly, deadly dull. Well, if it's so dull and boring, why are you doing it? Because I need the money, because the work benefits are pretty good, and because in five years I can retire and get my pension. But it still bores me. Well, uh, well I was wondering, uh, uh, uh... Yes? Do you think I could do your job? You trying to take my job? If anyone tries to take my job away from me, I'll punch him on the nose. Oh, oh, please, no, don't punch me on the nose. I, that's not very friendly, you know. Yes, you're right. It's not very friendly at all. And punching people is wrong. But I wouldn't have said that if you hadn't said you wanted my job. Well, I mean, I, I was wondering... Uh, uh, what? Could I be your assistant? Sure. Why not? In fact, now I come to think of it, I should have had an assistant long ago. Oh, well, why should you have had an assistant long ago? Because if I'd had an assistant, I should have had someone to talk to, and I wouldn't have been so bored. Oh, then, then, can I be your assistant? Can I start now? Oh, uh, can I clock in? Be my guest. Just punch the clock. Okay. Uh. <laughs>